Okay, so in today's math lesson, what we started doing is looking at rate of speed and using variables and equations. So let's explain what's going on here. So for, for today, we used rate uh, equaling a distance over time. We'll take the distance and divide it by time. Now, just for uh, the purpose of, of showing how this thing kind of works is I took the rate and I told the kids that the rate is going to equal 4, the distance is going to equal 12, and this t, which is the time or the speed, is going to equal 3. Now, it all seems to work out because if I, if I substitute things, okay, if I say r equals 4, so I put that in its place, and d equals 12, and the t equals 3, well, 12 divided by 3 does indeed give me 4. Now, from there, I can have some fun. Uh, and what if I want to find distance? Well, if I'm using the same values, if distance is my 12, what do I do with the 4 and the 3 to get 12? Well, to get the 4, to get 12 from 4 and 3, I need to multiply 4 times 3. Well, the 4 is really the rate, and the 3 is really the time, which means I'm going to have to take the rate and multiply it by time, and that'll get me the distance. Okay? Now, the same is true over here. What if I'm looking for the actual time? Well, I'm going to need a rate, and I'm going to need a distance. The question is, what do I do, do with those two values? Well, according to my little 12, 4, 3 scenario here, if the t is going to equal 3, what do I do to 12 and 4 to get 3? Well, I divide them. 12 divided by 4. Well, 12 is the d, and the 4 is the r. So in order to find the time, if I have the distance and the rate, I divide the distance by the rate, and I get time. Okay, so that was the first part of today, just taking a look at these different formulas and how I can manipulate them to, to find what it is I'm looking for. All right, so let me uh, erase what I have here. Okay, and let's begin with the first problem. So we have a world-class marathon runner can finish a race, excuse me, finish a 26.2 mile race in two hours. What is the rate of speed? And once again, my rate is distance over time. And they gave me the distance, that's 26.2, and I'm going to put a little d there, and the hours is time. Now all I'm going to do is fill in my, my values here. So the 26.2 is for the distance, and the two hours is for the time. And let's plug things in. So let's substitute 26.2 miles over 2 hours. Okay, now according to this, I need to divide. So right along on the side here, here's my 26.2 divided by 2, and this is going to be 13.1. To be more specific, 13.1 miles per hour. Miles per hour, you can write it this way, or 13.1 miles per hour, kind of like that. Okay, so that's my rate. Let's take a look at the next one. Next one has a little more involved, but it's kind of cool. So let's see. Let me change colors here. We have banana slugs can move at 17 centimeters per minute. Wait, really fast. If a banana slug can travel for five hours, how far will it travel? So it looks like I'm looking for a D, right? How far will it travel? That's a D value. That's a distance. And according to my formula here, I'm going to, in order to find distance, I need to take the rate and multiply it by the amount of time, okay? This is the rate, okay, 17 centimeters per minute, and if it's traveling for five hours, that would be a time. Now, I do have a bit of an issue here because the rate is calculated in minutes, yet the time is calculated in hours. So off on the side here, I'm going to have to take the hours and turn them into minutes. So I'm going to make a quick chart over here and run a conversion, okay? So I have my minutes and my hours. And I have 60 minutes in one hour. And if I'm looking for five hours worth, that's going to be a times five here. And a times five here, six times five gives me 30 with an extra place value. So that's 300 minutes. So instead of five hours, I'm going to use 300 minutes. And I'm going to write, write that down so I don't forget that. Now, the only thing I need to do is plug things in. Distance I'm looking for. The rate is 17 centimeters per minute. And I'm going to multiply that by 300 minutes. And that kind of looks like that. Okay? Now I can do a little bit of simplification here. All right. I can remove these guys because minutes 
I want to look at it like this. Minutes over minutes, or minutes divided by minutes, gives me 1. And so those guys cancel out. And I'm left with D equaling 17 centimeters times 300. So off on the side, I'm going to take that 300. I'm going to multiply it by 17. There are a couple zeros there. There's a 21, 3, 4, 5. So I wind up with 5,100 centimeters. 5,100 centimeters equals my distance. Okay? Well, that was the deal today. Thanks so much, folks. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.